The warm weather means a lot more motorcycles will be on the road this weekend. And before you head out on two wheels or four, there are some things you should keep in mind. 27 First News reporter Lauren Wood spent the day talking to cycling experts about how to stay safe. Lauren? And there have been several very serious motorcycle crashes in just the last few days around here. It's something you see often this time of year, and drivers are getting used to sharing the road with motorcyclists. But no matter what kind of vehicle it is that you're driving, there are some things you can do to make it a safer experience for everyone. It's been a busy day at Youngstown Cycle Supply. Owner Jim Nadasky is always happy to see his customers, but days like today are especially rewarding. It's been a heck of a day for helmets. I, I'm really impressed with all the people who have been in today. Jim knows the importance of wearing a helmet. Like a lot of motorcyclists, he had a close call many years ago and says he probably wouldn't be here if he hadn't had on a helmet and other gear. I uh, did a somersault. The lady pulled out in front of me and landed right on my head. And he says a lot of people who ride are actually wearing the wrong size helmet and recommends a professional fitting. I've ridden with my dad for years and was surprised to find out my helmet was actually too loose. You're going down the road. This is going to blow off of your head. The responsibility for safety isn't just on motorcyclists. Drivers of cars and trucks need to be aware too. Sometimes uh, a driver can see a motorcycle and it may not register. So it's look twice before you pull out. Mahoning County Prosecutor Paul Gaines has ridden since the 70s and now he teaches motorcycle safety courses similar to this one. He says they're a must for new riders and there are options for experienced riders too. You use your own motorcycle and there's uh, uh, instructors uh, uh, that, that actually run you through exercises that hone your skills. And whether you're on two wheels or four, everyone needs to be aware. I, I know a lot of people look right past that motorcycle and don't even see them. It's sad, but it's a true story. Um, you know, that's probably it. Just try and be a little bit more observant and stay off your phone. Coming up this evening at 6, we'll have some advice for motorcycle riders about one of the most important things you need to check on your bike before you take it out for the first time this season.